I mean, I've covered it up as best I can, but I've got a friend there today. Oh yeah, yummy. Hey boots, it's not Caroline here and welcome back to another makeup video. Now today we're trying out some new things from Colourpop. Colourpop have brought out a tie dye collection and it looks so cute. It's basically like pastel, pastel like palettes. Um, and there's three, my phone's ringing. There's three palettes, um, like a purple one, a green one, and kind of a peachy colored one. I didn't get the peachy colored one because I have colours similar to that in my drawer and I feel like I couldn't really do much of it but I love tie dye at the moment, tie dye is so in so I was like I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy these so I've bought a little Colourpop haul, haven't opened it yet, been waiting for you guys uh, I think I also got some uh, white eyeliner which you're gonna try out and I can't remember what else but something else is in here I also want to try out this e.l.f concealer, um, camera concealer because I've seen somewhere that it is incredible and I want to try it out because at the moment I use Revolution. I also use white um, to highlight my face. Now this is the lightest shade they do. It's called Shade Fair Rose and it is, it, out of all of them now, it was the lightest one. So I bought it, we're gonna give it a go because I've heard really good things about it. Um, I've done a base already, I've just done um, foundation and you haven't been here for a while. I now have blue hair, blue slash green slash brown slash, I don't know what the fuck is going on with it hair. Um, I've also have drag brows because it means that I can put <laughs> uh, anything I want on my brows. It means that I can have whatever tail I want, whatever slit I want in my brows. I basically use Wonder Brow because it stays on and then I put a darker powder over the top of it and that's what I do. Um, but we're not talking about that today, we're talking about this. I am very excited to get into this. Now I've got my little scissors ready. This has been sitting on my floor for like three days because I always wait for you guys. I don't have time to do a video, I wait and leave it and it's been sitting there because I wanted to show you. I wanted just to open it together. We are in. <laughs> <laughs> How exciting. Oh, I just, we live for Colourpop. Uh, yeah, so I bought a liquid liner, a white one. Oh, I remember, I bought a sponge as well. I bought a, a um, velvet sponge, even though the feel of velvet makes me sick. I bought a velvet sponge because I wanted to see what it was like against a normal sponge. Uh, oh my God, that's horrible. <laughs> Why did I buy this? Oh. Okay, it's not, it's not that bad. I've had like crushed velvet and stuff. I can't really, it makes me, it like gives me shivers. It makes me like cringe. This isn't that bad. And once you wet it, I'm sure it'd be better. But we'll try, uh, I'll try this out another day on another video when I'm not just doing eyeshadow because I've already done, already done my foundation and my other sponge is already wet. So we'll try that one out in another video when I have some new stuff to offer. Um, I also bought, cause the palette's like 12 quid. So I bought another palette, which isn't part of the, um, tie-dye collection yes so these two are in part of the tie-dye collection so the purpley one and the um the green one but this one i bought because it's called lila you a lot and it's a lilac because i don't really have many purples i'm not a purple queen don't wear a lot of them but i like to you know up the game next thing you want to buy is a blue palette because i don't really wear a lot of blues but i'd like to their packaging is just fucking ador it's adorable it's so small and so cute and we absolutely stan it Oh look, this is a lilac one. It's so... Oh my god, they, they've got peel off. This is amazing. And when did this come along? Oh, let me just, I'll do it with you on camera so we can both get satisfied together. Oh my god, I think I just jizzed. Fuck yeah, that's nice. And look how shiny that is, you can see you. Um, so yeah, we're not trying this one today, but it did half look good. Those are some banging little colours in there. You see that? Nice. Yeah, so that's the one I bought that was like um, a whim because I was like, I wanted to buy three, but I didn't want to buy the other tie-dye one because I didn't like the look of it. So uh, I've got a purple one. So this is the um, one of the purple, uh, one of the tie-dye ones called Aura and Out. And it's the green like tie-dyes and I can't even really remember what they look like because I haven't been on it. The, the colour is fucking insane. It's like a mint green. So pretty. So pretty. Good. Yes. Uh, look at that. That glitter one in the middle, top middle, looks absolutely intense. Yes. I can't wait to try. So I'm going to do one eye and one eye with both the tie-dye ones. And the, the names are great. Young Love, Energetic Vibes, New Age, Fresh Cut, Healing Heart. They're like fucking hippie tie-dye palettes and I'm so, so here for it. They've upped their game because I've got a couple of um, old Colourpop ones and they, they look like this and they are like 
fluffy and they're not they're like cardboard these ones are plastic and they've got a little tab and shit uh so this final one is called uh in a trance i think yeah in a trance i couldn't really read that properly because i'm a fucking idiot in a trance which i think is like the pinky ones i remember rightly or i've just bought two lilac palettes for no reason it's the same sh same shade as the other lilac one but i'm pretty sure yeah i mean it's not the same i liked it because of the blues and it has pinks in it as well but look, uh, it's so cute. I can't wait to try these. I'm very, very excited to try these out. Um, so yeah, you can get a third one. I'll put a picture up of the third one on here. Oh, let's peel the, let's peel the mirror. This time, the pleasure's just for me because I want it on my own. I can't get the end of it. Mm, yeah, I'll put a picture up of the other one so you can see what it looks like and you can get that one if you'd like to But I just wanted these two. Just wanted these two. It's all I wanted uh, And we're gonna try them out today. This little lilac one I'll put in my drawer And we'll do that another day along with the velvet sponge. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna try out is this um, Concealer because I haven't put any concealer on yet. I've literally just done a base uh, And I do a new thing now where instead of putting highlight on my nose I saw Nikki Tutorials do it and I was like, I'm doing this. So I put a whole load of, well, do you know what? I'll show you. I'll show you what I do now to highlight my nose. It's a bit different, but um, I actually rather enjoy it. Yeah, so this one says 16 hour camo concealer, so it should last 16 hours. I'm not gonna say that it will, because sometimes they do not, but we will see if this color even is worth it and whether I should just stick to white. We will see if this is good. I mean, the color looks good so far, just saying. Okay, now that's one is looking very promising so far. And it feels quite nice. It feels quite um, like heavy, which means it should last. Not heavy in a bad way, like heavy in a good way. So you think this is gonna be a good concealer. I mean, the chin already is giving me, giving me This is not the mirror. This is not, that's not the mirror. I don't know what, what I'm thinking. I would use any other mirror but this one. Disgusting behavior. Okay, well let's not pretend that she's not a fucking great concealer. And she was like five pound five whole pounds for this kind of coverage Elf you know exactly what you're doing to me. You're giving me the tingles. I'm here for it I swear one day if I ever make merch, it's gonna just say I'm here for it on the t-shirt because that's all I fucking say I'm here for it. I'm here for it feeling it You do you I'm here for it. Oh I mean I'm here for it. Okay, so That is looking fucking covered up that coverage is great you can still see the foundation line here where i leave it impressive very very impre are you two fighting <laughs> apparently so <laughs> okay so next i'm going to do is show you how i now do my new nose highlight but first of all i need to set my face um i've also rearranged my desk and it looks rather symmetrical and good at the end i'll clean up and show you how I've rearranged, it just felt the right thing to do, you know? It just felt the vibe was, the feng shui was not in my favor. Okay, so what I do, which I copied from Nikki Tutorials, is I get my bronzer that I normally use, which is the Bourgeois Paris, the one that smells like chocolat. I get that one, and I just saturate my nose in it. Which you're thinking, what the fuck are you doing? That's not how you do shit. And, and do you know what, you'd be right, because when I first saw it, I was like, what the fuck is she doing? It's not how you do shit, but it works quite well. So you, you cover your nose in bronzer, and then you get, actually let's bronze the rest of my face first before we carry on. Okay, so the rest is contoured, and I bet you're thinking, that just looks silly. Well, it does look silly, but what we do is we take this dry sponge that I have, which is the cake and bake one, don't even fucking worry about it, and then I take my uh, white powder, <laughs> my ready set smooth by Barry M uh, and I get some out but this is not what's happening there's none in there so we've got to <laughs> bash it out and then we let it go all over the table because that's that's the tradition we get this dip it in and what you do is you do where you'd want the contour to like be so you like make lines with the powder Obviously that you can do it with any sponge, but I do recommend getting this cake sponge because of the straight line. It's like having a ruler, it's great. And then you get more, 
and you go around where you want it at the bottom like so like that and then you just kind of do the rest of the nose white apart from that one line in the middle which stays brown kind of come up a little bit onto your brow where you'd want it and then do you know what we do we let it bake <laughs> I look fabulous so we let it back. I just look, I've got to have to do the rest of the video like this as well. So you're just gonna have to get used to my baked nose the whole video. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is eyeshadow, which means we get to try our new palettes out. I'm so excited. So it doesn't really matter which eye I do for which, but I'm very excited. Let's try with the in a trance one, which is the purpley pinky one first. Um, and we are going to put. I'd rather just swatch them on my eye. Are you okay with that? And the ones I don't put on my eye. I'll, I'll swatch to the palette. Wow, my nose looks ridiculous. You're gonna have to deal with that for the rest of this video <laughs> because it's baking. Okay, so we're gonna put Clarify, which is like this. Um, I don't even need that mirror because I have a mirror in the thing. Clarify is this top one here, which is just like, a, it's a shimmer. It's like a purpley white shim. Okay, the fallout's really bad on that one. Like I've already dug holes into it just with this brush. But the color's exquisite, what? Absolutely. Oh my god, let me get a little bit of that on a finger. Oh my god. Oh my god, can you see? Do you see that? What the fuck? Oh wait, let me stand. Oh no, I've done <laughs> I've done the upper eye. <laughs> I've done the upper eye. So stupid. No, one eye. Stop. This is not for you. I've got a bit carried away. And excited about how amazing this color is. Are you fucking for real? Look at that. That is a purple shimmer that I can get behind. I'm here for it. <laughs> okay, so the next, whew, there's so much stuff on here. The next one I'm gonna do is, I'm not sure. I don't think I'm gonna, okay, so the next one I'm gonna do is called Future Self, which is this blue one underneath, uh, which is a baby blue. We're gonna take the baby blue and we're just gonna put it like, just above the crease. Okay, so the next colour we're going to go for is up. No. Own Your Power, which is this purple one here. Purpley blue. Um, because I like the look of that one. I'm going to go into the crease of that one. The actual crease. Next color I'm gonna do is up level, which is this one here, which is like a purpley pink. It's like a, I'd say mauve. I'm gonna go for mauve kind of color. And it's very nice. The fallout isn't bad on the rest of it. The fallout's really nice on the rest of it. It's just that one at the top. But with shimmers, fallout isn't great. Like it just never works as well as like a, a pressed powder. So I can't be angry at it. We're, we're doing bits here, mate. We are absolutely live in our purple blue fantasy and I'm here for it. Don't know why I bought a lilac palette because it's exactly the same as what's in here. <laughs> but now I have two. Is it the same? Hold on. So I wanted to see if the two palettes I got were the same but they're, they're not. They're different. They've got different shades in them. This one has darker purples and it has a very lovely, two very lovely shimmers in there and I'm excited to use that next time. I'm going to go in with Mind's Eye which is this shimmer right here which looks fabulous um, and do a corner look at that that is fucking everything oh god so pretty oh oh it's so pretty do you see that shim i see the shim oh look you can sit look the fallout on my actual eye i see you but also i see you so i'm gonna go with um transcend dance which is that darker blue here and see if that just put that in the corner and kind of just blend it in yeah, yeah, it would do. Me, me. Um, so we literally have three. We we we're gonna do these all these colours. Doesn't matter. Crown chakra, which is this one here, which is like a shimmery pink. I want to get that. I'm gonna get it on my finger. The fallout's not great on that one either. They're all like <laughs> coming off everywhere. I just want to get that, and I want to kind of just do it as the end. I'm just gonna put it in, and then we'll blend it out. See how that goes. I'm trying to put all the colours on in one go. I can do that. I'm a big girl. I'm allowed to do what I want. I'm an adult. If I want to fuck up my eye, I will. But it's very tie-dye. It's very cute. 
works. I've got a tie-dye dress on the way today, so it should work really well with that. Do you know what? That's what we're gonna go for, a subtle tie-dye eye. And we're gonna go for underneath now. Okay, so we've done all the colours apart from uh, the All Aura again, which is going to go in the corner, and Daydream Baby, which is going to go underneath. Let's brush away this crap first. Okay, so we've got our penciled esque Morphe brush, and we're going to go for Daydream Baby, which is this pink one right here. And we're going to. Oh, it's got a little. It's got a little bit of shimmer in there. I see that. That fallout is not what I want. Nor is that pigwood. But I am forgetting though that these are supposed to be tie-dye pastel colours, so they can't be too aggressive, otherwise it just wouldn't fucking work as a tie-dye collection. Okay, so I've gone for the pink under the eye and it actually really works well. I think it looks really cute. I told you that I wing shit and I'm here for it. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do with the same brush, just wipe some of the excess off, is get that all aura again, which is literally like a, it's, it's shimmer. I don't know if it's going to even take to the brush. It sparkles and we're going to shove it in the corner. Can you see? Without it going in my eyeball and damaging me for the rest of the day. Oh, it's very cute. Oh, it's so cute. So hopefully that doesn't come off. But that's that eye done. We've done this eye. Now we have to move on to the second eye. So yeah, this is the um, in a trance palette on every single colours on my eye. All of them. It's very cute. Should we do this one together? I forgot we had a third palette to take the sticker off with. Let's do this one together. You ready? I'll come closer. Oh. ASMR, who are you? Oh, this one looks so cute and cool and I can't wait. I'm going to start at the top with Young Love, like I always do, which is just a white. And we're going to take our big old Morphe brush and we are going to... Fallout's alright on that one, I'll give you that. I'm just going to paint it onto the other upper brow and the whole eyelid. I'm going to go for your revision, which is this one right here. This like yellow, which also has a shimmer to it. but. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go with Eurovision. 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 Hmm. Hmm. Are we gonna put it above the brow bone where we usually do? Okay, so that's Eurovision, which is so fun to say. Um, we're gonna take Fresh Cut, which is this green one here in the middle. Which is very nice. It's kind of the same colour as the palette, um, but maybe like a tiny bit darker, but it really, really looks like grass, like freshly cut grass, which I think was the vibe. Wow, that's bright. <laughs> okay, that's the colour we're going for. Yeah, fuck me, right? Okay, we're going to go in with Vibes, which is this turquoise one right here in the corner, uh, which also has a bit of glitter to it, as I can see. Oh, the fallout's bad on that one. But Oh my, yeah, that is. That is bad, okay, okay. We're just layering, we're layering it in. We're just, we're just, we're winging it. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna take, it's called Solar Hour. It's this one here, it's just a darker version of Eurovision. Um, and we're gonna put it on the lid. So we're gonna go with this new age, which is like a blue. The it's like a shimmer version of vibes with a little bit more green. I'd say. Okay. Some of them have so far, and some of them don't even fucking go on the brush. Lord, work with me here, please. Yeah, she's still cute. She's cute. We're vibing with her. <laughs> okay, so the next one. I'm gonna use it's called Soul Sister. Where's all my soul sisters here? This green one here. Uh, and we're gonna go do that as the outer corner. Fuck me, that is not coming off. I mean, but digging holes in it or getting nothing. Like. <laughs> Great, you work so well. Thanks for coming along. Super soft though, but fucking awful to get off. It's actually. Is it a cream? Because I'm pushing it around. I think it might be a cream. Because I can push it in the palette, like you can, I can squidge it down. Not great, not the best colour that I'm going to be using all the time. Absolutely fucking not. That's awful. It's honestly, it just sticks to my finger still. What is the point in that one? Okay, so Soul Sister, which you can see that I've like pushed and is now 
shit, I'm never using it again. The rest of the powders, yeah, that is a chrome. Fuck that one, fuck you. <laughs> okay, so we have two more colors left to use in this palette. That fucking Soul Sister one is crap, but the rest of the palette, We'll, we'll write it at the end. So yeah, the next one I want to use is called Healing Heart, which is this very green shimmer here. Make sure it is a shimmer and not a cream. Yeah, it's a shimmer. Oh, that is nice. Look at that. That's fucking bright shit, mate. Lord, I rubbed it on my leg to get it off and it's fucking well bright. But we're going to make it the bottom lash. Okay, and then we're going to take our, it's the same kind of, it's just, Pretty much the same one, I think, is a little smaller on the on the glitter. Uh, it's called Energetics, which is this glittery one here, top glitter. I'm going to put it in the corner like the other eye. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. Well, this one's a cream though. I better if I'm just doing it with my finger. But for a corner, for an inner corner, beautiful, beautiful inner corner. And that's it, ladies and gents. I'm not going to try anymore. That's a couple of the tie dye collection. As a tie dye palette, it works really well. I'm more of a fan of this one than I am of the other one, but I'm not. I don't hate the other one. I'm not annoyed with it. Okay, so I want to try out this white eyeliner because it must be hard to make white eyeliner, but it's probably the easiest color choices to go over, like pastels. So yeah, it's just a ColourPop liquid liner in white, and I don't know how long it's going to stay white or if it's even going to work. But we're going to do an eyeliner with. What? So you can come along for the ride. Well, what eyeliner? I, it's not fucking bad. I was expecting it to be like quite shit, and it's actually not that bad. Yes. Yes, ColourPop. Come through. Come through. I see you. I'm enjoying this a lot. It's got, oh, I like it when it has that. I have eyeliners here. Loads of coloured eyeliners. Nothing. That's my ring. Nothing. But this one, yes. It means that I can get more liquid out of it. Right, I'm going to get rid of my nose and show you what it looks like when I get rid of it. And then I'm going to go away and do the rest of my face. And we'll come back and we'll rate the stuff that I've used. So what I do is I get this brush here. It's just a long kind of highlight brush. And I brush away the white. So yeah, we have it like that, and then we put highlight, and it just looks good. Once I don't, it's easier to do than the other one. I'd say compared to the two, I'd rather do this. Um, yeah, maybe I have to leave it on a little less, a little less longer. This is a bit white still, but I'll come back. I'll come back in a minute, <coughs> and everything will be done. Jesus. Oh yeah, I need some soda beverage. Okay, bye. Okay, so I'm done. Done. Done my eyebrows, done my mascara, done my highlight, done everything, put a little bit of gloss on. Uh, and we're in, look at my little like, Picasso-esque, 3D <laughs> eyebrow slit. Listen, fabulous. Um, so we're gonna rate these now. So we'll start with the liquid liner, um, which for a, li for a white liquid liner, it's hard to kind of get and it kind of doesn't really work. It's worth the first try. So we'll see how it goes after a couple of goes and if it gets any better but I like the fact that you can shake it about there's more liquid in there than some of them that just have like the tip covered in liquid bullshit um, and it works well it's not like white white but it's like a it looks good especially on some of the pastel colours it looks really good so yeah I'm rating this like a solid 9 this is fabulous I definitely would suggest getting it I think it was like £4 £4 these are £12 each now we're rating these um, this aura and out the packaging's beautiful i love the color of it most of these colors are incredible this one here is fucking awful color pop awful it does nothing it doesn't even come out it sits on your finger when you try and put it because it's a cream and not a powder it's so hard soul sister is shit okay so apart from this one fabulous colors work well very cute i'm enjoying it they're colors that i don't really have in my set so i'm giving this one a seven purely because of that piece of shit for 12 pound really cute very travel size i enjoy how small they are i also enjoy that they all look the same and you can have like a big stack of loads of colors like it's so pleasing so aesthetically pleasing to have packaging that all looks the same love that so yeah that's getting like a what did i say seven yeah seven's good now in a trance can't fault it can't fault this one all the colors work so well together it's really cute 
some of the fallout is a bit bad, like it's still there. Um, on both palettes, to be fair, the fallout's not great on both of them, but that's to be expected, to be fair. Some of them, palettes, it, they're shimmers and stuff, they, they, they fall out. But um, apart from that, very good, really enjoy it. Uh, so I'm giving this one a solid nine. Um, I think I'd give it a 10 if the fallout wasn't so bad on some of the colours, but like for a tie-dye range they work really like this is tie-dye my eyes are tie-dye it's cute it works really well together and i'm sure the third one will be just as good which i'll put a picture of right now this is the third one um which you're free to get as well i'd suggest getting all three if you're into that whole if you want the collection like i'm not big on if i had the money i'd have every palette known to man and <laughs> it would be ridiculous but if you if that's a person that you like a collection of stuff then definitely get all three um because the colors are cute they're just not something that i i have similar colors like that like i said i don't really have many purples and greens so i bought the purple and green one um and we're gonna try out the velvet uh, sponge and the lilac palette next time uh, we can see what that is so yeah those you know Nine out of seven, purely because that soul system was fucking dreadful. Um, the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. Great. Absolutely great. I'd still think I prefer using a white one, because I use the Revolution, um, the white one. I don't even know what it's called. This one here, it's just, it's white. So it's CO, which is like, I think C1's like the next colour up, which is kind of the same as this. So this is like pure white, and I've been using that because I'm pale anyway, as highlight. But um, as concealers go, for the price, absolutely. And it's quite, it's big and all, it's chunk. You get like a lot in there. So yeah, I'm definitely recommending that. I'm gonna say a solid, well, drop it on the floor out of 10. Um, nine, we're giving that one a nine. So yeah, those, I definitely would recommend getting it. The tie-dye collection is very cute. There's ever more in the tie-dye collection. It's not just palettes. They have like other things as well that come with it. Um, so I'll leave a link in the description. You can go check them out and see if there's any that you want to buy. Um, but let's do a slow-mo and then we'll, we'll leave that episode here because I have to go. So thank you so much for coming to see me today. I really appreciate it. Most push always love little buttons at the bottom. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see all of you beautiful people in the next one. Bye, 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 bye. Okay, so I'm going to show you how nice my desk is now. Okay, so look how new, like, I have so much shit, but look how, like, symmetrical my desk is now. All the stuff's there. It's got a little tiny bin. We love a little tiny bin. Focus in, there we go. Yes.